Good morning, traders. Welcome to the Asian preview from your friends at Privateer FX. The North American wrap. We'll go over a few things of uh, some of the things that transpired today in the market. We'll start out here with the uh, S&P mini chart. You can see it had kind of a tough day. In fact, uh, it's a bearish engulfing day. Uh, not really sure the catalyst. Some blaming it on some dollar strength, uh, but you know, regardless, it's an ugly looking bar. Let's see if we can uh, get this a little bit. Scroll on a little bit here. Zoom in. So, yeah, it's a pretty ugly bar. So we took out this high from Friday, and uh, it closed right near the lows of the day. Here's a little trend line. It's not off the, the lowest we saw on the in the February soft, but it is a it is a pretty good line, and I guess you could actually draw, you know, some sort of wedge from the uh, the reaction high that we saw off the Feb lows. Bear with me. This is kind of a little triangle pattern. Um, we still like selling it. We think the market will start selling it through the break of this uptrend line and then what lies below, but the 200 day moving average, which is uh, put up a big battle. We, we really only got, looks like this one daily close under it and uh, it spiked higher and, and traded back up, but certainly um, not looking good. Price action not looking good today. If we pop over to the NASDAQ, we have Apple earnings out tomorrow after the bell. So there are some tech names coming out this week. Uh, Tesla, my favorite short, is uh, is coming out, I think, on uh, May 2nd. So, you know, we do expect some uh, some action in the, in the uh, equity space. Take a look. Let's not forget this was just before I went overseas for a week for work. Um, we did fail up here at this two thirds, so that the Nasdaq is respecting the Fibs pretty well. Um, we just we closed under the uh, 100 day on Friday. We're back under it, you know, the lower lower high, lower low today on Monday. I'll be kind of a quiet session. I think volumes are quite low. Um, again, we, you know, we'd be looking to, for a test of this 6,428, and then just below there um, is the 200 day, which in the future, we have not. In the futures, we have not. Uh, we have we've gotten close to testing it, but there's definitely a few things lining up for further weakness. Um, Nikkei futures. We had a Doji day. We made a new high. Doji day on Friday. New high today. Closed lower. Not the best looking pattern. This thing was really had a big run up and was outperforming the U.S. indices. So. Again, this this uh, gives me a, a bit of a bit of caution. So keep an eye on those equities. Uh, pop over the currencies today. Uh, let me see what we have for you know one of the one of the in one of the bank strategy desks came out a couple hours ago and said we have so, several reasons why we want to be short euro dollar. Um, you know, one of those is this yield spread between the uh, German and the uh, U.S. 10-year yields and the two-year yields, um, where it's kind of breaking out and making making new highs in favor of the U.S., which would be bearish euro and bullish the dollar. Um, you know, the data, the, the Eurozone data in, in April, um, a lot of people blaming on the weather. Um Perhaps it's the strength of the euro, and that's had an impact on German exports in particular. Uh, one thing that we need to look out for are the, uh, if the EU, the EU's exemptions to, on, on the tariffs expire at midnight uh, New York, I believe, tonight. If, for some reason, the U.S. 
gets rid of the, the exemptions, uh, we think that would be euro negative and euro cross negative. Um, let's see some other reasons for the, the, the euro trade. I, you know, some of its positioning, although a bit of that's been un, unwound since we broke back below 12090, the old breakout. Let's take a look at the euro dollar chart and see, just put things where we are in, in perspective where we are this year. So this was that triangle pattern that everyone was drawing. It was a clean break, a clean break here, retest right here, and we kept going down. So we're just below the old breakout in January, um, early January. Once we broke 12090 right here, this bar here, it never looked back. Like literally never looked back, and it did its 500 points. So. You know, we're now back below 12090, and it looks like this 12011 200 day is uh, is a near term target. Uh, kind of an ugly daily bar today on uh, on Monday. So the dollar strength is still out there. Uh, here's Aussie looking really ugly. Huge, huge level here at 75 cents. I'll bring you to a weekly so you can see it the uh, significance of uh, 75 cents but you know you can see how this moves in waves we you know sold off here in uh, December we had a big rally up at the beginning of the year and we're right back down to where we started we've we've broken this massive trend line this goes back a long way uh, there's the trend line broke that last week broke under the 200 week or the 100 week we're under the 200 week. I remember selling a lot of Aussie down here at 75 cents uh, back in, I think that was in December. That, that's a, that's at a very important level, and it's not too far away. We do have the RBA tonight, so pay attention to Aussie. Uh, Kiwi is sitting right here on the. This is a nice Fibo, some very nice Fibo here. This is a weekly chart, but I'll just draw it from that down here up to that double top you can see where we are 7033 is a two-thirds fib this is support right here as we speak below there is 6950 4550 um, again dollar is looking pretty perky across the board uh, dollar yen is kind of let's pop over the daily but dollar yen has kind of gone sideways uh, you know, it had the big move up from 107.50. We broke 108, went straight up last week. And now it's kind of trading sideways. This is this is lagging to me. I, I do think dollar yen's got to catch up with some of the other dollar strength. Um, but it's something we're paying attention to. Uh, dollar Swiss continu continues its parabolic rise. I mean, this is start. This is looking, th th this, this area here from 95.80 from the, Hundred day. This looks like a cryptocurrency, or uh, you know, some sort of like a Nvidia stock, weekly stock. I mean, it has just gone straight up. And again, I think it's some of this has to do with the Russian sanctions and uh, and the Russians taking money out of Switzerland. So there's been this mass exodus, and it's hard for me to you know th this bar here on Friday, the red bar turned me a little bit bearish dollar Swiss went down match the low 98.70 and then straight back up and close near the top part of the range so this one's not ready to roll over yet um, some alert here 99.46 so uh, yeah th this looks like it's still has some room uh, so that's a bit about it we got a bunch of PMI numbers coming out in Europe uh, again we have the RBA which is should be uneventful um, in a few hours time. Good luck. You'll hear from us on the European Open. All the best. Cheers.